Hey guys, so this week's project is inspired by the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie as well as the medieval fair that my husband and I went to earlier this year. At the medieval fair there's always a ton of people dressed up as pirates and this year there was also a lot of steampunk. And so I combined all those and came up with these cuffs that I'm going to show you how to do today. And it's a little bit pirate, a little bit steampunk all rolled into one. And so let's get started. The supplies you need are one type of fabric for the outer and one fabric for the lining, medium weight fusible interfacing, cutting tools, thread, pens and needles, a large snap or velcro, embellishments, measuring tools, an iron and a sewing machine. Measure your arm or the person's arm you're making this for and add three inches. Cut your fabric to that length by however wide you want the cuff plus one inch. The piece I'm cutting is ten and a half inches by three inches. Repeat with the interfacing. Fuse the interfacing to the inside of each piece. I'm going to be attaching some leather lacing to mine so I am switching to a 9016 needle and then I sewed about one inch down each end of the leather. You can also do this with lace like I did on the uh, first cuff I made. Place the front and back right sides together and pen. Sew around leaving a two to three inch opening on one side. Trim the seam allowance and clip all the corners. Turn right side out through the opening and iron. Hand sew the opening closed. I wanted a chain to run down the center so I hand sewed it on with matching thread and then added a gear embellishment on top. Sew the male side of the snap directly underneath the embellishment on the lining side. Color the snap point with a bit of chalk and try the cuff on. Hold the cuff ends tightly together so the chalk rubs off onto the other side and creates the placement marking for the other end of the snap. At this point I cut my chain to length and sewed it in place along with the snap. So like I said this cuff is a little bit pirate inspired, a little bit steampunk inspired, but I really like how it came out. And I, I wanted to add some keys to it but I couldn't find any. And so I would really love to see if you make a cuff inspired by this tutorial. Please send me a picture or add it to the Whitney Shows Facebook page. And don't forget that I have a new video up on Monday, a basics video, and then another sewing tutorial next Thursday. And so I will see everyone then. Bye.